And the JBS Workers Union says human lives are worth far more than $15,000. That is all OSHA fined the meatpacking company over a COVID outbreak that sickened hundreds and killed at least six. An outrage over the small fine led to a protest tonight. Denver 7's Liz Lardy joins us outside OSHA's Denver office where that protest just wrapped up, Liz. Yes, that protest just wrapped up and workers gathered here called that fine a slap in the face. Many of them drove from Greeley to Denver to protest here at OSHA's office, wanting to send a very strong message. After a coronavirus outbreak, families and JBS workers are protesting again, wondering what a life is worth. Workers at the JBS meatpacking plant got sick. They died. The company was hit with a $15,000 fine. This group says it's insulting, and they gathered outside of this Denver OSHA office to protest. The company never cared from the, from the employee safety. And uh, what I think is, you know, the government also didn't care uh, from the employee. San Twin couldn't be at the protest, but she says the company needs to do more to keep employees safe. Her mom, a longtime JBS employee, tested positive for COVID-19 in March, spent 59 days in the ICU and died. I can't even go. I really hope that my mom will stay alive so I can take care of her. It's because she worked so hard for her whole life for for me and my little brother so we can finish school. Denver 7 Investigates was the first to raise safety concerns inside the plant after several employees came forward to complain about dangerous conditions. Employees worry the fine won't be enough to force JBS to protect food processing workers. Rosario Hernandez's husband, Alfredo, also tested positive for COVID-19 in March and he's still on oxygen. No, it's not a punishment enough. It should be way more than just $15,000. Look at all the employees that got sick. And employees and other people gathered here say this isn't really only about JBS, but other meat processing plants across the country. And they hope that elected officials and OSHA and others in the government will do more to protect these families. Reporting live in Denver, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz, thank you.